Okay guys, so this time we're gonna install pip. So go into your downloads and double click on this. And of course you wanna say yes. And then the setup just hit next, next, next. And it will install, finish, and we're done with that. Open up command prompt and type pip. Uh oh, we ran into an error. So I think it might have to do with something with the path that we set. So we're gonna do echo path. And let's see if I can find the error. Ah, there is a slash missing right before that Python 27. So let's go into uh, system and we're gonna go to advanced system settings and then environment variables. We're gonna edit this path and we're gonna look for that script one. There it is. Let's add it in. Say okay, okay, okay. Go back into command prompt and type in pip. Didn't work, so let's open up command prompt one more time. Type in pip, and there it goes. So this happens sometimes, and that's where it's important to actually follow um, the full text completely. And to do that, um, I will just real quick just show you again what it is um, with the echo path so that's what your path should look like um, I will have this in a file as well um, that's exactly what it it will be um, so make sure that that's correct otherwise pip will not work okay so now we all we need to do is actually install Python and it's pretty easy. We just do pip install, excuse me, not Python, Django. So pip install Django and we're using version 1.5.1. So do pip install Django 1.5.1, press enter. And now it's downloading it and it is installing Django. And once it's done installing, we will actually set up our first Django project. All right, see you then.